Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Single Shot. I'm going to put this one under Echoes. I see that the second most important debate occurred last night. And I want to give you my opinions about this. Some may be strong. Some may offend a few people, but hear me out. I've been listening to a lot of everybody else, so as far as I'm concerned, it's my turn. The debate went like I thought it would last night. The Democrat representative Kamala Harris showing typical Democratic position and Vice President Pence impressed me a lot with what he had done, what he said, and how he conducted himself. Now there was a lot of opinions the last time when we saw the first presidential debate, and there was a lot of unprofessionalism there. So, somebody got the message, Vice President Pence, that's not the thing to do. So he acted very professional. He controlled his emotions. And he did very well through the debate. He was cut off several times, not only by the biased moderator, but by Kamala Harris herself. Well, that's to be expected considering where she stands. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have any unicorns out here. Everybody seems to be looking for unicorns. They don't exist. Sorry. Maybe in uh, somebody's dreams, they do. But we're not going to have a perfect presidency on any level. And I'm going to reiterate that in just a moment. <clears throat> Vice President Prince, I respect you. You were very good at your situation last night. Takes a lot of nerve, a lot of patience to control emotions. So thank you, sir. There were a few things that were said that I don't totally agree with. But again, we don't have any unicorns. Nobody is perfect on this planet. Now, to miss... Senator Kamala Harris, I'm embarrassed beyond compare to the total, total Democratic Party. Complete embarrassment. They have but one thing on their agenda, and that is total domination of this country. They think everything should be free. They disrespect the people who put them in office. And they're continuing to do so. Joe Biden, as we know it, and has he has proven several times on record that he is senile. Ladies and gentlemen, I see this plan falling together as the 25th Amendment being enacted, if Joe Biden gets into office, that position will not last for him more than six months. Kamala Harris will invoke the 25th. She will step in and take over the presidency, and this country will be completely destroyed 
we don't have to look very hard to find examples of it. We don't have to look very hard to see how things go and how things are going with the Democrats. As far as I'm concerned, they are no longer Democrats. They are something that I have seen turn into an evil, despicable group of people that have done nothing for this country except try to completely destroy the Constitution, our way of life, and make this country into something that it is not designed to be. Now I'm going to get real, real down to the nitty-gritty here. Ladies, I'm sorry if I'm going to insult you, because there's a lot of ladies out there that have the capacity to use logic. Women do not belong in high power positions. That's something that has proven itself time and time again. Why do I say such a thing? Because they don't use logic. What I have seen lately is nothing but ruling by emotions instead of logic. You cannot run a country. You cannot run a country by emotions. The only thing that you're going to do is tear it apart. I don't have to look very hard to find the uh, examples of that either. Look at Kamala Harris's state. Gavin Newsom, he's a woman. He rules by emotions. Gentlemen, if you rule properly in your lives, no matter what level that you're at, and you use logic, you're going to come out with the right decisions. If you use emotions and follow emotional groups, you're going to get what we've got today. Now, have your opinions as you may. Everyone is entitled to an opinion. I use my own opinions as to what I see, not what I think. And what I see is this country being completely obliterated if the Democrats are allowed to continue their persistence. Make your own decisions, but get out there and vote. I don't care which way you vote. You're, you're voting to your own situation. But use logic instead of emotions. There's a lot of bad things that's happened in this country. A lot of people have walked and are still walking because of the things that has happened in this country. Because we allow our emotions to make bad decisions. Any legislator that listens to this, I'm saying the same thing for you. If you make decisions that aren't right for the people of this country, that you know you are wrong in making that decision, then you best better reconsider things before actions are taking place. Have a good day. Take care. God bless. Be safe. Stay safe. America moves by truck. And I'll say one thing more. It's not that our liberal friends are ignorant. It's just that they know so much 
that isn't so.